Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're playing Eternal Evolution, and we have a double chip event for Easter events, so I'm pulling all I got. Yes, double chips means pull all of your limited no matter what's happening. I mean, at worst, I would say the only exception to this rule would be, let's say you only have like, all right, it takes 60 to get a, get a champion. All right. Let's say you don't have much. Let's say you only have, maybe you only have 60. Maybe you only have 70, 80 at most. And you can get one character, but that's it. But maybe you don't want either character. Maybe you're like, I already have them and I want to save it for someone else. Or I want to, I want to hold that, this pity for a future one. So what you could do is you could pull 59 on this banner and stop. And then you would at least be able to carry that pity over for another. And you'd get double the chips for those 59. That's something to think about as well. You could do the same for, I think... I don't know how that would be if you did it for two banners. I guess if you did it for two, 59 here and 59 here, if you didn't want either character or you'd already done summons when something like this pops, I guess you could technically save both 59 and 59. And then if that was able to, or to be close or whatever it may be. Um, and then save two pities to carry over? I think you could carry two pities over. I don't know. I never really thought about carrying two pities over. But I guess you could. I don't see why not. Um, anyway, so I've already done my recruitment event early because of her. I wanted to get her so I could try her out with the new EX stages. Little did I know they were going to do an Easter event and I could have got double chips for all of those summons I did. So unfortunately, I'm going to miss out, but it's okay. I'm not too worried. I do look because I do get some extra um, resources. I'm not as worried about um, the fact that I unfortunately wasted some for the sake of content because being in the content creator program, I do get some resources. So it kind of evens itself out at the end of the day. Plus, I mean, it was I would have had to wait a week to do that, and I didn't really want to do that. <laughs> but in the general, if you want to be smart and you can tell that there's a big holiday coming up and you know that the banner is going to carry over through the next one or through that holiday, you might as well wait and see what happens in case there's another double chip. But double chips only come once every couple months at best. Once every, what, three months or so far, maybe? Uh, so I wouldn't hold your breath on every single holiday. But yeah, I've already pulled. So I guess I'm going to 1100 for another copy of Leo. Why the hell not? Apparently we're going to have super OP Leos. Oh god, speaking of which, how does that look? Let's find out. I have a pre-gore. Oh god. Here's our EX talents. 5% oh my god. 5% every... Oh my gosh, that's a lot. And then you double it all. That's a lot. So you get 5, 10, 15% extra damage. And then you double that, so you get 30% extra damage. Okay, that's busted. Oh god. I have no so I just opened up Eternal Evolution for the day. I'm posting this video a lot later in the day because I'm grinding Higan Aruthal today because it just went global. So I've been focused on trying to hurry up and get stuff done so I could start grinding the new game that just went global. Um so this reaction is a reaction based on not looking at Discord, not seeing any content creators discussions. Um having no idea what people are saying about this right now besides yesterday with people assuming it was going to be broken i think it's safe to say this sounds pretty broken i don't think we're overreacting i think it's pretty busted sounding holy moly at least the ex2 is just in general this seems like a general, it's not PvP only. But 
15% extra damage. Plus 5%? What is this 5% plus 5%? 5% plus 5%. What does that even mean? Oh, because of this. The double. That's the double. So, yeah. 30% extra damage and then 30% extra damage mitigation when you have an EX5. 30% damage. Not like a, just attack or just defense or just HP. Just straight damage. That sounds busted. Okay, anyway, you guys are gonna have to tell me. What are the people saying? What are you thinking on that? Were people right to overreact? I didn't overreact. I just... In my video, I was saying everyone's freaking out. I wasn't really freaking out yet because, again, like, we didn't really know what it was gonna be. But, ouch. I don't know how to feel about that. Some people say it only affects the PvP people, but it doesn't. Like... I don't- I guess I mean it's more like Summit Arena is gonna be even more divided, but you can compete pretty highly in, a, in PvP related stuff. Even if you are free to play, honestly, you can. It just depends on your server, it depends on your grind, and it depends on your luck. So, anyway, alright, let's go back to summoning. That's a whole nother discussion. I think for the sake of just- alright, PvP. I have to think about it mostly for PvP because that's where all those bonuses are about getting duplicates of someone. I think I want to get one more copy of her because I accidentally bought another copy. And she's going to be quirky. I want. I do want to try using those hunter comps in PvP just for the hell of it. I haven't even tried yet. Uh, I might be regretful. It might be just they're too squishy so don't bother. Or it might be busted. I actually don't know. I haven't even tried yet. But I did accidentally get one extra copy of her so I might as well get two so I can give her one additional immortal the plus one. So let's go ahead and do that first. Let's do that first. Hopefully I can get one quickly. Sorry I went on a tangent there, but there's a, this is the update day, right? It's update day. It's exciting. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. 30% extra damage? That's a lot. That is a lot. Okay, there's my copy of her. Perfect. So let me go take a look here. So now I can go, I, I, like I said, I accidentally bought one extra copy of her from the exchange that I needed to when I wanted to get her to Immortal. So now she's Immortal 1. I'm not going to use these to Immortal 5 anybody. I don't care that much about PvP. I guess at the end of the day, if you're someone who cares zero about PvP, um, the whole patch doesn't affect you. And at the end of the day, maybe that means it doesn't affect me either because, yeah, do I put a lineup in for Summit Arena? Sure. But do I really care if I get top 16 and do I really care if I win Summon Arena? Nah, not really. So at the end of the day, I probably don't care too much. But for sake of regular Arena, I guess I'll throw some stuff on Daniel. Um, the EX2, I guess it's gonna help to get more copies. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um... If you're if you're debating about what to pull on and you're not really caring about this whole arena thing and getting dupes of people thing in your earlier game and you've already got a copy of someone, I would say uh, pull on Daniel no matter what because Daniel's amazing. Um, but if you're someone who already has an immortal Daniel, I guess you could always debate about the epics. Like maybe you would pull on the Serena. If you don't have a maxed out Serena, you could pull on this banner and hope you get more epics. Um, although Negrama's really good as well. And Randall is great with the whole um, assassin comp with Rickert. So this is a pretty good banner either way. I don't think you can go wrong pulling for Daniel no matter what. So either way, I'm going to go for it. Oh, hey, we already got one. Wait, that just happened. I've n I don't think I've ever had that happen. My first pull. Oh my god, and it doesn't reset. This is why, so in my video, I was like, does that even happen? When, you know how they, I was in my, one of my videos recently, uh, I talked about the whole 59 and in one strategy. And I was like, what's the point? Because if you get them early, you're just gonna like, I don't even think I realized that if you pull the character early, this stays. So you're still guaranteed another one at 60. I don't even think I realized that because I don't think that's ever happened to me. In all this time playing, I don't think I've ever had that happen to me. 
Holy moly, that's crazy. So now I'm going to get another Daniel guaranteed? A guaranteed Daniel and 50 more pulls? I feel like such a noob right now. I mean, it is what it is. It's never happened to me. So I would have not noticed because it just hasn't happened to me. And boom, there was the guaranteed Daniel. There was the guaranteed Daniel with the 60 pulls. I got two Daniels, actually. That's the first time it's ever happened. That's the universe being like, okay, let me let us show you because you said this is, never happens, but don't worry, it does. <laughs> I love it. That's amazing. I just got two Daniels out of 60 pulls. That's a good day. All right, let's keep going. We're pulling everything. Oops, sorry, Randall, I didn't mean to click you. Let's go, let's go. All right, I'm still going to be happy for double chips. I'm going to try not to overly worry about, think about whatever, the whole hot mess of the exclusive thingy for talents. But definitely feel free to let me know in the comments below what your final thoughts thoughts are now that it's actually in the game. Oops. I still, overall, guys, like, don't obsess about, oh, do I use my gene hybrids here now? No, you don't. Save your gene hybrids for new characters. Don't worry about the freaking ascensions. The only people that are going to be popping a bunch of gene hybrids into their, um, into their SS SSSs that care about the top, top, top end of arena are the people that don't need to debate that. They're just going to do it. They're going to spend until they can do it, no matter what, because they want to get the top, and that's how you're going to have to do it. So it's definitely, it's definitely become more pay to win for the high end of arena. But I honestly, at the end of the day, can we be mad at that? No. That's any game. Oh, another Daniel. Hey, Daniel. What's up? <laughs> That's every every gotcha game is going to have that pay to win aspect. Um, okay, I got my jeans. I got my jeans. And every gotcha is going to have the rea- If there is any sort of um, PvP, it's the people that spend will always have an advantage. I don't think you can avoid that, right? I don't think we can- avoid that at all. All right, I got to pull 30 more so I can get the Leo. So we're pulling 30 advanced. Whew. Did I forget to do Guys, today's Did I even do ancient altar? Oh no, it's why I just thought today was Monday for a second. Okay, I need more coffee. So I get to still do all this. This is going to be later for me. Oh my goodness. It's going to be a day. I need to go grind the shit out of Higan Ruthel now, though. It's global launch, and I want to do a couple rerolls, but not too many. I might just roll with what I get, like I said before, but I'm excited. But yeah, that was a really fun little session there. We just got... Oh, my Randall says, thank you for sake of damage and stats overall. That's really good. Okay, so... At the very least, I also just got a much improved Randall. Because keep in mind, guys, it's not only Triple S heroes that that affects. So now I can improve my Randall. Let's see. If I go here and just add all of these. Okay, it's only really going to be this. that. Uh, like, I don't really need to add the other stuff unless I'm actually using him in PvP. Literally, guys, be careful here, too. Like, if you're... Don't just go blasting all this stuff for no reason. Um... Oh, no, because you want the double, though. When there are only 30 seconds remaining in battle, deals damage dealt to enemies is increased by 5%. We want that increased by 10%. Let's say you don't really have to go blasting all of this for everybody if you don't have a ton of resources. Be careful about spending it on every single non-Triple-S hero that you have maxed out. Because you might not even need them unless you're actually actively using them in PvP. But you do have to debate if you want this for the sake of PvE. Because this doesn't say PvP only. This is just a skill. And this is a PvP bonus. But this is like an extra skill like the other ones, right? 
All right, well, that's cool. So, unfortunately, it doesn't really directly affect my attack or anything for Randall. It's just going to be the last five seconds of the battle bonus. I don't know that that's really worth it for me doing Atlas well, but I guess I'll find out. I guess we'll find out. All right. Leo. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so we're going to be doing all this for all of our people. If you have a ton of resources, I haven't used my soul potions in a very long time. I have no idea how I have that many. That's insane. But at least I have them. Alrighty, well, this has been a fun video. I got I got all I got three Daniels out of some poles. I got my extra for the succubus, so now she's got a plus one on her too. Um, this seems a bit busted. I still definitely feel that it seems a little bit much, but it is what it is. <laughs> I don't I don't know how to feel about it, guys. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope you guys have um. Some luck with your double chip summons. Make sure you're try you're double dipping if you are able to with your recruitment event. Boom. Thank you for the Leo. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video or come hang out with me live on Twitch. I will be going live with Dragonair Silent Gods Friday as well. Lots of fun to be had there. I'm loving that game. It's insane.